Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today at GDC, well, technically yesterday at GDC, uh, Blender Foundation announced the launching of their App Store. Now, there's a couple things to uh, caveat there. First off, uh, this is not launched, this is in very early beta, and it's not technically a store, it's more of a repository, because everything here is going to be free and GPL, but this is going to be the new way of discovering, of sharing your add-ons, and of course, installing the add-ons. So we're going to show you the process right here. Now, a key thing I want to point out right away is notice this up here. This is a test instance add-ons and other data may be deleted at any time. So this is very much a work in progress. There's also not a ton here yet, but this gives you an idea of what the workflow is going to be like for discovering and using add-ons going forward. Now I mentioned earlier on, uh, so you can check out this website right here. It's available at extensions.blender.org. Uh, again, it is very much still under development. The other part of under development that you're going to be interested in is you need to use Blender 4.2. Now, as of the time of this recording, Blender 4.2 is currently in alpha. You can grab it from the daily build site. If you watch this at some point in the future, hopefully this is all built in and you don't need to go through any of these steps. But otherwise, well, there are some steps involved. So let's head on over to Blender. There you go. So this is Blender 4.2 alpha. First thing I'm going to do is gratuitously sacrifice this cube. All right, now let's go ahead and set it up. If you want to go ahead and check this guy out, again, get Blender 4.2 go to preferences and then in the main section right here what you're going to want to do is turn on developer extras what that does is it turns on this experimental tab down here and then once you have done that go on in here and now you're going to look for the new store which is available down here as extensions. Also notice there's also this development utilities. I think that is if you're uh, working on it or you're publishing to it, but there's not of interest to you right now. That's the key part that you need to enable right there. And then once you turn extensions on, you will notice, bang, new tab over here for extensions. Now I do find that initially this is, a, it was a little janky for me, but again, this is alpha, so it's just the way it worked. I had to come in here and filter it. Um, before I got the additions that I was looking for. So just something to be aware of. And then all those ones shown at the top, these are all the uh, new extensions you can get from the extensions repository, or I'll just keep calling it the Blender Store. It's the easiest way to explain it. Uh, so you could go ahead and install things this way. So if I wanted to orient and um, origin to selected, I could go ahead and install that right here. So we'll click the install and then boom, it brings it down and installs it for you. So that's how the installation process is going to work in that regard. Uh, but this isn't your only option. By the way, you may need to do an additional setup. In, in the instructions, it says you do, uh, but I didn't actually have to. It's come in here and do a plus and add extensions.blender.org. For me, that was already configured, but you may need to come in and add that manually if it doesn't show up. But otherwise, your options are available here. By the way, another thing to be aware of when it comes to extensions, uh, there is no auto updating. So if you want to update your extensions basically come in here you check for the updates and it will check for them all accordingly this is actually a good move because sometimes updating extensions big, big, um, breaks a project so auto updates is probably not ideal but you are going to have to manually update them but there is updating functionality in there uh, you can filter down between the extension types so you could do say add-ons like the one we just enabled or themes like so so let's say we want to do deep dark sea let's go ahead and install that guy right there and then boom, it is now installed. And you come on over here, you are going to find it. Let's go ahead and find uh, Deep Dark Sea and boom. So that's how easy it's going to be to add new themes to Blender, add new extensions as well. Uh, there is another option in this regard. Uh, so in addition to this approach, uh, that we've got here, this new extensions tab over here. By the way, we can also filter by all and show every option that's available there. Another key thing to notice is all of the legacy stuff is in here as well. There are some instructions on porting your legacy stuff over uh, to it. So all the existing add-ons will continue to work, but this is considered deprecated and this extensions mechanism is the, the one true path forward. So if you're a plugin creator, they're going to want you to upgrade. You're gonna create a new manifest file and some other things so that you can use this new system. So there's another neat new ability from this system and we'll go back here to the extensions tab and I will go out of full screen like so. And what you do is let's pick a let's pick an extension I'm interested in. So let's say I'm, I'm interested in wireframe color tools like so. Uh, what I can do is if I want to get the add on so you can get details of the add on itself, how many times it's been downloaded, the license that it's under, though I believe everything is going to be under GPL. Uh, and then I can go say I want to get this add on. And then what it does is do this drag and drop. So then what I do is basically drag over to Blender like so and drop it in. And then what you're going to notice okay is a bug let's go out of full screen so you can see it in action so let's do it this way all right so back here and grab our our guy over here so we got the uh where did you go okay here drag and drop 
It will automatically bring up the install extensions option, and then you can install and enable it right there. So this is the new way that extensions are going to be done. Uh, it is definitely an interesting uh, development. Again, uh, it is a little misleading to call it a store, I know, because quite frankly, nothing is being sold. But, uh, you know, Blender Asset Store just totally makes sense to me, at least. But it is actually the Blender Extensions repository, I guess. Um, and then you'll notice again, you do need to use Blender 4.2 to grab it. And then there are some details of the, the new alpha launch. Again, very early on, this project is, um, it's again, just in alpha right now, uh, but you do need to have the alpha build of Blender 4.2. You need to enable ex experimental. This step doesn't seem to be true anymore, so you don't need to set up the repository, but you may in your particular case. If you wanna upload your extensions, details are there. Now do be aware, if you are currently an add-on developer, there is this. So there are uh, instructions on how to port your existing project over to the, the new extensions mechanism. And I definitely think it's worth doing. Well, I think you're gonna have to do it eventually. Uh, but this is a much nicer approach to dealing with extensions in general. Nice to get them all here together. You'll also notice that the add-ons is completely gone once you enable that. Uh, and again, there is the ability to filter down to just the things you're interested in. You do have updating functionality available over here and you can still install uh, via zip or disk if you wish to do it the old school way as well. Uh, but it's, it's a nice step forward. I like this. I'm curious to hear what you think of the, and I'll call it one last time, Blender Asset Store. Um, I also would love to see a commercial store uh, happen at some point in the future, but I'm curious, what do you think of that idea? And yeah, that's it. The new Blender extension system is in place. Let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.